You put Robert Downey Jr. through a lot in this film. Mm -hmm. Two golden showers in this movie. Yeah. I'm a little curious. You're right, there's a double piss joke in Why? this movie. Why did that have to be? I keep asking, <laughs> nobody wants to listen to me. <laughs> Why two? I don't know, I just felt like, um, <laughs> Uh, I, I felt that, that God needed to piss on uh, on Steve Lopez, and um, and so that was the idea. It was super nasty. <laughs> it was like panther piss. I'm not asking for sympathy. Scratch that. What's your name? Uh, Nathaniel Anthony Ayers Jr. You only got two strings. I've had a few setbacks. Me too. Uh, hi, this is Steve Lopez from the LA Times. I'm calling to see if Nathaniel Ayers attended your school. He was the most gifted kid I've ever met. I'm gonna write a column about Nathaniel. People heard that you were just playing with two strings. Some of them thought you might want something better to work with. I can't cover that. It's a gift. Let's go to work. You wanna do this? Let's do this. Come on. Let me just ask you one question. Sure. The white face. Was yeah. that getting back at Robert Downey Jr. for Tropic Thunder? Yes, it was. Awesome! Uh -huh. High five for that. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What's wrong with you people? Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? What did you say? <laughs> Hilarious. Fucking genius movie. Loved it. Love you. How about that? How do you feel about that? I love you. I love you more. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Where are you from? Buffalo. Buffalo. Yes. Wow. Have you been there? Oh, yeah. Have you really? Of course. I do stand up comedy. I've oh, been yeah, in you've every been everywhere. City. Yeah, of course. <laughs> What's up, Buffalo? How y'all feel? <laughs> Okay, all right. <laughs> He's wearing a 38 triple F bra on his cello. Well, <laughs> duly noted. We are all sexual beings. Do we know why he's wearing a bra on his cello? Uh, as a tribute to weird science. She definitely has curves. She has the curves, yeah. But she doesn't get any pants. No, um, because he needs to play her. <laughs> And you know this because? Just sizing it up. <laughs> he goes, dude, what do you think? I said, dude, it is holy shit. <laughs> I've already internalized the cello as the state of Nathaniel's mind. Ah, as the state of... <laughs> that mind is quite endowed then, isn't it? <laughs> you know how it is when you play music. Yes, I do. I drool a little bit. There it is. I get all giddy. Yeah. <gasps> Yeah, I'm kind of a groupie. That's good. It is? Yeah, in some instances. Is it possible that that was my bra that was thrown out? <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what size your, uh, size your cuffs are. A year ago, I met a man who was down on his luck. Man, he's got a gift. I thought I might be able to help him. I think I could be good again. And the power of his art. Now, I've never loved anything the way that he loves music. Being his friend will carry you home. I'm the closest thing to family he has. We take care of each other. And we look after each other. I'm his friend. Listen, go see The Soloist, April 24th, Robert Downey Jr., Jamie Fiddox. And if you don't have the Intuition album, make sure you run out and grab it. <laughs> nice. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, the Soloist, you're going to love it. It is good stuff. <laughs> Ask yourself, 
Do you want to see this movie, or is it the soloist that you want to see? Who's your daddy? It's no good!